Well, 19 of the Argentina 23 lost to England on opening weekend. The front row of Thomas Gajo, Julian Montoya and Francisco Gomez Cordela remains the same. This is Montoya's sixth World Cup match as captain. 20-year-old Pedro Rubiolo replaces Thomas Lavanini in the second row. He teams up with Guido Petty, who wins an 82nd test cap tonight. Marcos Crema and Juan Martin Gonzalez are the only two Los Pumas players who have started every match at the World Cup. Toulon's Facundo Issa continues at number eight. 34-year-old Thomas Kubeli comes in for Gonzalo Bertranu at scrum half. His first game was against England. He hasn't played them for four years. Santiago Carreras is at fly half. Geronimo de la Fuente started inside centre, plays a 12th at World Cup game. He captained the Pumas against Chile earlier in the tournament. Olympic bronze medalist Lucio Sinti continues at centre. Matteo Carreras has six tries, a loss across his last eight tests. Juan Cruz Malia is the fullback. And Emiliano Boffelli wears number 14. He scored 25 of Argentina's 30 points when they beat England at Twickenham last year. And on the bench, Michael Cech has resisted somewhat to bring in some fringe players. Well, Steve Borthwick has made eight changes to his starting 15 following the loss to the Springboks. It's a new starting front row of Ellis Genge, Theo Dan and Will Stewart. Stewart earned his first World Cup start after three off the bench. Oli Chesson returns to the second row, taking over from George Martin, who tweaked a knee in the semi-final. He teams up with Maro Otoji, who wins a 76th cap for England. Otoji, all power for England. Tom Curry earns a 50th test cap. He wears number six tonight. Number eight, Ben Earl, has played more minutes than any England player at this tournament. Sam Underhill is an open, open side flanker. His first World Cup game since the final in Yokohama four years ago. England's most cap player of all time. Ben Youngs has announced this will be his last he plays a 127th test for England tonight. The captain, once again, is Owen Farrell. Manu Tuolangi and Joe Marchin go again in the midfield. They'll perhaps be hoping for a bit more ball in hand after last week's aerial kick battle against South Africa. After scoring five tries in his only World Cup appearance so far, Henry Arundel will look to surpass Chris Ashton's record of six, which he scored at the 2011 World Cup. Marcus Smith is back at fullback. Freddie Stewart shifts to the right wing. Well, back in 2017, as an 18-year-old, Tom Curry made his test debut for England against Argentina. How fitting here tonight. He wins his 50th test cap against the same opposition. Well, he's a guy really for the moment, and he's earned every single one of those 50 caps to be able to stand out here and start the front by yourself leading your country out in the bronze final. Absolutely huge congratulations, Tom Curry. Andrew Brace and Ben Whitehouse are his assistants tonight. England and Argentina, the battle for bronze. One last hurrah for some all-time greats and a chance to sign off. Their Rugby World Cup on a high note. The fans in here tonight are perhaps hoping for a bit more ball in hand. Pick and drive through Kubeli to Argentina in danger of getting isolated, and they do. Look at Tom Curry straight away. Last week they were cheering on England, now they're booing them. Aaron Farrell on the angle from some distance. Dan to Curry at the front. Oh, backwards once. Hang on, looking for the second the shove here. He's fine. He's fine. Already had one pause. Okay, broken away now. Balls on the ground. England can play from the rock. Here's Sam Underhill. He and Tom Curry were labelled the Kamikaze Kids by Eddie Jones at the 2019 Rugby World Cup. They were both first-choice starters at that tournament. Underhill's fallen away slightly of late. Theo Dan, look at the feet from the hooker. Gets away from a couple. Farrell, Smith, and here's Ben Earl at pace. Ben Earl! Every time he brings his best stuff. There's Ben Earl, and he's got a try for England. 
but it was two very nice passes. Sort of put him into the hole. This is the head up. Look, look at this. Farrell takes the line. Back ball to Smith, who hits that nice short ball. And that's awesome from Ben Earl. Yeah, a few draps on Ben Earl from uh, his uh, playing group as well. So England lead by eight points to nil. Farrell to add the extra two. Strokes it nicely, and England are up to double figures in the bronze medal match. Delayed ball to Joe Marchant. Speaking of French clubs, he's off to Stade Francais here in Paris at the conclusion of the tournament. There's Sam Underhill running straight, still going. Powerful leg drive through contact. England have an advantage. Your penalty advantage. Dink over the top from Ben Youngs. Leave that, please. No advantage in that. A couple of nice guys. runs over the first one from Ellis Gage. No doubt he'll have one eye. Up on the big screen. And he sent the flags up once again. Thank you. All about dominant tackles this modern game we're watching. But Adas under a lot of pressure from Youngs. Gets the kick away. Here's Smith. He's hit hard by Geronimo de la Fuente. And Argentina get the penalty. Boffelli from right in front has Argentina's first points in the third place playoff. 13 3 England leader. De La Fuente. Experienced player as well, his 78 cap. And here's Kramer again, but he's lost the ball in contact. Earl flicks it up to Farrell. And lovely hands from Joe March and for Marcus Smith. He decides to chip forward and hacking it clear is Juan Cruz. Malia like a river plate fullback. Seven. And he has his 11th point of the night. Gonzalez wins the line out for Argentina. Here's the captain, Montoya. Up over the halfway line. Advantage Argentina. Theo Down was. Sorry, running mate. slightly lazily back into the England defensive yeah, yeah. line. You got penalty advantage, nine. Still got an advantage here. Carreras to Malia. Malia shows and then digs it inside to Boffelli. No two. Good stuff from Argentina. Here's the young 20-year-old Rubiolo. Carreras. De La Fuente. Mazio Carreras. Still alive for Argentina. Shifted on by Sinti. Opportunity here for Los Pumas. Juan Martin Gonzalez has found his way all the way over there. Here's Gajo, this free running loose head prop. Lovely quick hands for Issa now. They're just a couple of metres out, Argentina. Almost there, Kubeli. And he's there. Kubeli was one of those changes that Michael Checker made to his side for this week. Checker said during the week that if he's closer to the ruck, it's a type of game that you think it'll be and or against a team like England, it's a game where Kubeli can just use his strengths. And I guess we saw that right there. No, no, stay out. Thank you. Clock's in the red here. Final play of the first half. Smith's going to chip over the top, but it's too heavy. And the mark is called by Juan Cruz Malia. That's, I'd say if they time. go into the half time of this, I'd just see they'd be okay. pretty happy. There we go. And here we are. Owen Farrell in England will receive the restart here. <laughs> the second half is underway in the bronze medal match. England leading Argentina by 16 points to 10. A couple of Owen Farrell penalties, the difference as things stand. In the pocket is Carreras, he's chipped that over the top. It's intended for Boffelli. It's a little heavy though, Marcus Smith scoops it up in the field of play, so he has to clear it. Hold and here's on. Matteo Carreras. This energizer bunny of a left winger for Argentina. 
Other brands are available. Kubeli. Facundo Issa. Number eight's coming into the game, as he did in the semi-final. Here's Carreras. Oh, Santiago Carreras. That is outstanding. Oh, just individual brilliant. From Santiago Carreras, there's the one-on-one -on -one shot. There's the challenge at the line, but look at the balance for the man. As soon as he saw there was no one in behind, the hand goes up, he hits the angle. What a start, Argentina. Santiago Carreras is known for his running game, but that is next level. And Los Pumas take the lead in the bronze medal match in Paris. Yeah, but Michael Checo, the Argentinian coach, will be very happy with that. And he spoke about how important this game is to this group of players. He said he would really like this group to have something tangible to take home, show their kids, show their families for all the hard work they've put in, and also that the sacrifices that these players' families have made throughout this tournament as well. Yeah, he's trying. Well, he's that trying. is something to take away from a Rugby World Cup. He plays for Gloucester in the English Premiership. They've got a chance there at King's Home. Oh, Santi Carreras. I reckon as he kicks clear here, but it's been charged down by Theo Dan. It sits up for him, and England have replied. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Thank you. Well, brilliant at one end. And then gives up a five-pointer at the other. Theo Dan has a try for England. These are the results that can happen. He's the only one there chasing that kick. Theo Dan picks it up under pressure. Yeah, that's good. Good. But that's what coaches love. Effort on effort. And that's what he's brought, to be fair, to this game. A lot of effort. Always putting his hand up for that first hit up. And that's the end result of that. that cool belly kicks. Here's Arundel. He's had hardly an opportunity in this game. He decides to kick, and it's not gone very far at all, but he kept his eye on the ball. Although Will Stewart didn't retreat. Oh, he's hit it really well. And Argentina have closed the gap to three points. Some difficult kicks amongst those points. It was terrible weather as well. Advantage England. Here's Danny Kerr. Tight that was not the best drop goal Tight Danny Kerr's ever knee. attempted. Owen oh, Farrell adds an extra three points for England. Big future for those two players. Nico Sanchez, little double cuts to Matteo Carreras. Look at him pinballing off an England defender. This is Sklavi's first touch. Now, Kodavi. Advantage 22 wide offside. Sanchez shows and goes. No, I don't. This to take him through 900 points in international rugby, and he does exactly that. And it's a wraparound play for Sanchez. Cut out ball for Moroni. Carreras bumps off Marcus Smith. There's Matteo Carreras. Slow ball, they got the advantage here, Argentina. Here's Sklavi. Well, his previous hey, kick guys, went through the 900 the, uh, points mark draw, for Argentina yeah, in test matches. That. Who will attempt okay. to level this bronze medal match up? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Nicolas Sanchez has missed it. He's missed it. They still trail by three. Ben Earl, still alive though for Argentina. De La Fuente. Here's Matteo Carreras. Matteo Carreras charges into George Ford. Just outside the England 22. Long ball to Bruni. Uh, check to see there wasn't a forearm in that, Benny. Still alive for Sanchez. De La Fuente over the top to Moroni. Here's Boffelli. 
Argentina playing with 14 here. They've got a player injured in back play, and England might have smuggled the ball back anyway. They have counter ruck from Argentina. Seconds almost out here. Ten seconds to go. Argentina need the ball. And England will finish with a penalty. And they will win the bronze medal. But Rugby World Cup 2023. Uh, tap it. Tap. Well, it's been a scrap, hasn't it? Been a real scrap. Owen Farrell kicks it high into the stands.